it's probably Wednesday, so that means it's time for the Wheel of Yu-Gi-Oh! There is a lot of new support coming out, a lot of new hand traps and little things you can just throw into any deck. So, we're going to be allowing them for this, despite what we spin. What we spin will happen to be two attributes. We've done it before, but this time we're allowed to add, you know, Malt Chummy and all the other fun new stuff that's included in the game. Just to... Mm -hmm. See if any of it synergizes well with what we spin. So, I'll go first, Mario. See what I can get. Hopefully, we get dark and light. It's chaos. Hey, I started on light. So, oh. I'll spin Come again. On the wind. Dark, dark, Come dark, on dark, the wind. dark. Earth. Okay. One Earth. The worst. Yeah, light one of the best. Earth, probably one of the worst. But hey, we'll accept no, it. No, no. I would actually say Earth is one of the best middle grounds. Because Earth is so many monsters, so many generic monsters, all that stuff. So, I would say Earth is better than game. wind. Better than wind, I'll give better it. Better than wind, yes. <laughs> all right, your spins now. We'll see what you land on. All right. And I land on water. All right. Water. And? and water again. Okay, spinning that again. No double water. Darn it, wind. Ooh, water and wind, huh? Okay. There's gonna be something for that, right? There's gonna be something. But once again, we can include any of the new support stuff that come out. We can get the Malt Chummy in there, Vesper Girsu, you know, all the other fun things. Singularity Fiend. Um, if it's been released this month or close enough, we'll allow it. So, best of luck, Mario. Seems like you have the tougher deck to build. Um, but hey, I gotta deal with light monsters, so I have more choices. We'll see you in the duel. We'll see you in the duel. The decks are made. Also, remember when you did a wheel video and Thunder Dragons uh, just got off the ban list? It was your turn, isn't it? It's, it's my turn. turn. There's brand new support from Adult J Mario. We haven't played it much, but it was dominant when we got to play it. Also, new support for Trick Stars Mario, which are just annoying altogether. That was one of my OG code decks, actually. Yeah, like way back in the day, that was one of your good ones. So, actually, if I remember correctly, I won a fight club with Trickstars, actually. Probably, because it was like at the meta during that time. So anytime you can land on something that lucky. And for those who don't know, fight club was just a, you know, friend-based Yu-Gi-Oh tournament we had where you spun a random archetype or spun a random type, and you had to run with it. Much like these wheel videos. Um, but here, this is what we get now. So, I am Ooh. no master of Trickstar. I am no master of Medulce. That's the only way you have a chance here. Me royally messing up. Um, also, the decks I, don't traditionally blend together, but, you know. Wind and water don't traditionally mix it well together, too, so. I kind of did what I did before, and I kind of put two arch that can play by themselves if I get enough of them. That's the best way to play things, so I'm hoping these guys play like that, but once again, I'm just going to say I'm not experienced enough to know for sure. Um, which should we get out of here? I guess uh, let's just get a Nightmare card out of here, and we'll get some of the uh, extra copies of some of the important ones that we have. And see what we can get. Okay, well, let's decide. We have Trickstar Light Stage, which is a fantastic card. Um, however, I don't think Light Stage... Oh, but it can add a Trickstar monster to hand. But I have... Oh, that's pretty good, too. I don't know the material for any of my monsters. I need two Trickstar monsters for this. I think I'm going to have to lean into Medulce right here. Because I have the Petting Saucier um, right here. And the Chateau. So let's try to lean into Medulce here. Shuffle this card into the deck, target a monster into graveyard. Oh, gosh. Um, I know Hoot Cake is like a supplemental thing, but I know Gelato is pretty important, too. Well, let's just You're add You're making stuff. me hungry. Right, it's a food-based archetype. It just is. I'm sorry. Let's get the Chateau out here. Boom. I've been on a diet as well, so I haven't had sweets in, like, weeks. Ooh. So, seeing all this is not helping me right now. <laughs> I guess not. Um... If I have no cards in my graveyard, I can special summon this monster from hand. So why not? Out comes the first of many courses, Mario. We're going to use this. Ah, that's what I want to do. I want to summon the gelato from my graveyard usually. Gotcha. Well, I still have my normal summon, so we will keep that option available. I know Angeli's pretty good. I know Pudding Sis is pretty available. Um, pretty useful. So, will this be good to go? Um, man, I don't know. Let's just add it. Let's put it on the field. It's level five. That's probably a good thing. Um, oh, it becomes a level four. Wonderful. We're going to normal summon messing gelato right now. Yeah. You missed gelato, Mario? I... 
I actually, I don't think I've ever had gelato, actually. Oh, fair enough. I used to um, get gelato as, like, kind of, like, as a good frequent, uh, Ooh, like, ice cream you... style dessert in the house, but... No, baklava. Sure. I miss baklava, actually. True. I haven't had baklavas. Actually, the last time I had a baklava was when we were in Rhode Island. That was years oh, ago. Oh, yeah. No, that was years ago. Yeah, that's how long it's since I've had it. It's good. Um, have Especially you ever had tiramisu? I... Yes, actually, it's good. Uh, have you ever had this tiramisu? Yes. <laughs> you forget. Okay, so my friend who also plays Heroes, their second deck is actually a tier is actually Madoche, actually. So I've actually faced this deck a few times, actually. All right. Now with this, I can target cards in my graveyard, which is sad because I don't have them set up whatsoever yet. Um, maybe getting my fresh to start out would have been better. Um, I play, no, it just sets up things, I guess. So we are going to now go into Chocolat. Um, we'll just keep keep it going here. Why not? So big, strong Madolce monster. I uh, don't have much further to go from here, but that's okay because we got some monsters out. Yeah, Messenger Lotta was played in the wrong order, but it's probably good enough to crush whatever you got here. Yep. What am I looking at? Dance Princess of the Ice Barrier. Okay, so you have some ice barriers as your water side of things, don't you? Yep. Okay. Decent enough. I think we're going to end turn here. And then hopefully get some other plays moving. Mm. But looks dry on your end. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to normal summon my Hexa Spirit. Hexa yep. Spirit is going to allow me to send a different tuner to the graveyard. Very good. Uh, let me see. I'm going to send the Mirror Magic Master of the Ice Barrier, activating his effect, which will allow me to add to my hand any Ice Barrier monster, uh, the monster card I want. It's good, but you also need something that can special summon itself. Which is going to be Revealer. Okay. While you control another Ice Barrier monster, you can special summon this card. Why can't I special summon? Oh, I don't know. Did something I do seal it up? Was it? I feel like I'm sealing it up, to be honest. I know Madolce have something real annoying about him, but I just forget. Um, that's not good, then. If that's not good, then, because I kind of needed to bring out a revealer with it and then bring out a level 6 synchro monster with that. Mm. Well, I can't exactly go further here. So it's just going to be more of the same, but it seems like the same is currently enough um i'm just gonna hold on to this card because it's not going to well maybe it will grant me farther do i got any toners in this deck or any synchros nope okay um do i got anything fun to do with this this is a light monster this requires two medulce monsters unfortunately for all of the uh xes and um link monsters and fusion bits that are in this deck they all require two medulce monsters or two trickstar monsters so there's very little synergy and there's no mixing and matching um but regardless here i am Let's go for an attack. Gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Yeah. So I'm not doing anything scary with these guys yet. But... Ice barrier. Ooh. Negates your good. effects. Negates your effects and your and your attack points to zero. Ooh, is that permanent? Yes, it is. Ice oh. barrier is a permanent one. So that card is just dead now. Basically, yeah. So um, I did want material to go to the graveyard, but it's not at a Lovely enough cost, in my opinion. So we're going to link these guys off and see what we can make. Because I've never used the link monsters for these before, I don't think. And add uh, that card to the hand. All right. Woo! Take that! All right. Simple enough. We're going to need to go into something else. Now, Earth Charmer is in my deck. It's not going to be useful in this, so Fresh Sis Start is going to be the option. Go into that, so, you know, I got something on the field. But, unfortunately... It doesn't really yield me anything with forward momentum, so I'll end right there. All right. I might as well play this to reveal what my second half is. Ah, Harpy Lady and Ice Barriers. Yeah, they don't feel like they're going to have much synergy either, but hey, both Synchro decks, so. They're both Synchro, but they and they also, one takes care of the monster side, the other side takes care of the spells and trap card side. All righty. Okay, I'm going to normal summon my Revealer of the Ice Barrier, activating yes. Revealer's effect by discarding a card. I'm going to discard my Cyber Shield mm -hmm. in order to special summon from the deck my Hexa Spirit. Very good. But 
I also can special summon the card I added, my Gregorius. Swordsman of the Ice Barrier. Gregorius' effect allows me to special summon from the graveyard. Let's do Mirror Magic Master. Oh. Spoiler, Mario's gonna be able to uh, bring out a monster. Activate the effect, send that a grave to increase the level a little bit. Beautiful. But let's use these two in order to create Lancia Dragonic Ancestor of the Ice Spirit Mountain. Huge, okay. Then I tribute my Hexa Spirit in order to bring out three tokens. Oh no, what's about to happen? Use those tokens to Synchro Summon. Into what? A five? Oh, you, he turned into a five. Okay. Yep. yep. That's bad. That's level eight. Or seven. Either way. Not fun. Or six. Also not very fun. And then, of course, this card allows me to add another another card to the hand. I'm going to add my freezing chains. Alrighty. I'm going to use freezing chains to special someone back to the field. The defender. Okay. It's a level three tuner. Don't think you got farther to get. Well, no, you do. Potentially. Because do you go into attrition after this is the question. And then I'm going to discard by returning that and my... And banishing my revealer since that's effect and discarding my harpy lady sister i return your not my face down not my face down i mean i yeah, do whatever you want none of it's gonna affect you i'm just bluffing yeah i'm just gonna do that not my trick star diffusion <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay and then uh using all these monsters i bring up trishula's zero dragon of the ice barrier huge man Yep. Like I said, the the the, I, the ice, the water side can play by themselves. And if I had enough of the harpy side, I feel like I could have done something similar and played with them like that. Yeah, Madolce side, very similar, can play itself. Um, but I just didn't set up my graveyard before going into my monster. All right, on to the uh, Trickstar side of things. Unfortunately, I don't know what else this does, but we'll summon Licorice. And unfortunately, that's it. Um, now... We can go into... If you had done turn one, Licorice, that would have burned me a lot, actually. I would have needed, like, the full, you know, multiple things setting it up to really get you going. But, unfortunately, did not have that available. Let's see if Kolchika can get me into a good position here. Well, I guess not. Well, this just allows me to bring out a uh, ice monster. Okay. Ice barrier monster. And I'm just going to choose... My General Wayne. General Wayne... Just allows me to add Medallion of the Ice Barrier to the hand. All right. Yeah, I don't think uh, I'm able to do anything with this either, unfortunately. Um, it's just to have an extra piece moving and uh, slightly manipulate attack, which is not going what to does save this do? me. Dude, I'm trying to remember. I'm I remember playing Tricksters, and I'm wondering if this supports it at all. I'm going to play Reincarnation. Ah. <laughs> Darn. Looks like I gotta play the Harpy Lady side now. Elegant Egotist. Yep, that'll be it. do it. I gotta play the Harpy Lady side as if your field didn't win already. Yeah, you know what? I actually... Since we're playing both of them, I'll just do this. Sure. I'll tribute two monsters in order to bring up Harpy's <laughs> Pet Dragon Fearsome Blast. Fun. Yeah, this is tricky. You got um, two types. You're much more confident with than me here. Now, with the new stuff, maybe I can still take an edge, but it's going to be tricky. If you can bring out a Trickstar Field turn one, I am going to get oh, burned I by a lot. Let's go, Trickstar Diffusion. The new Trap Fusion card newly added to the game. That I can now use stuff from my graveyard to bring out my Fusion Monster. That What does it do, Dramatis? Um, this, I can add a Trickstar card from my deck to my hand. That, that's it. All right. Activate. Activate. And from the graveyard, 
I can play this and protect my monster, I guess. From destruction Probably. or? I don't know. Your opponent right. cannot target it for attacks, except that monster. Okay, well. Yeah. I think I just bypass your monster and just go straight for the direct attack, don't I? <laughs> it doesn't change the results much anyway. Um, sure, we'll go. We'll keep drawing trick stars. Right, either way, you have enough to uh, get around either way. There it goes. Shouldn't that stop me from attacking into you, actually? No, um, I think what it does is Except forces you for attacking this. into it and none of my other uh, stuff. So that's one of the downsides of Trick Stars. You know, you have a bunch of weak monsters on the field, and if your opponent picks them off, they'll survive. Uh, that's just, you know, a harder layer to get through than all of the, uh, you know, 1600 attack monsters. All right. I'm going to go also, second again just to figure my game out. But. Mm -hmm. I do want to say I do find it funny. I do find it funny that uh, mm -hmm. tricks that uh, Ice Bears was uh, not too long ago considered the worst Yu-Gi-Oh archetype or one of the worst. Like it was joked and memed about and all that. Mm -hmm. But now it's actually decent now. Yeah, still worse than Trick Stars, but uh, by themselves, yeah. Because I'm right. pretty sure if you had a Trick Star hand, it'd probably be good. Probably. Once again, I don't think I've ever played Trick Stars. I just threw together a suggested, um, or, you know, some of the commonly played decks and mixed it in with 10 Trick Star cards and 10 uh, Madolce cards. Not the optimal way to play either deck, mixing them with other things, but wanted to try this new support in a wheel video, because that's just crazy. Um, ooh, you started off so low, so slow. That's wonderful. It's Yeah, it's mainly because I'll just, I'll just bring out a big beefy monster, and if I remember anything... You could just easily get rid of it, so better not just waste it and just Let's leave it go. as a big open target. All right. Well, I can go into my light stage here. Now, I do have my Medulce Chateau already. Um, however, I don't really have any other Medulce cards to play with this hand currently. So the options between light stage or hoodie. Light stage, what's it actually do? Adds a Trickstar monster from deck to hand? Well, then it's the answer, isn't it? All right. Anything good when Chateau goes to the graveyard? Um, nope. So, out comes the light stage. Search a trick star monster. Who do I need? I actually opened up with Candina and Licorice, which is, you know, to my knowledge, the uh, traditional play. So that's good. Um, ooh, if I get Hoodie, I can turn that all into a special summon, which may be huge, but I don't know if I can do more. Uh, Korribane can be summoned in this scenario, or Lily Bell can be um, special summoned from hand. Uh, this card can attack directly. I can target Trick Star monsters in my graveyard. I won't have any in the graveyard when this is out. So maybe I'll just kind of play it casual. Uh, we'll add Korobane. Sure. Uh, just uh, yield one copy but Korobane can come out. Don't know if it's going to yield anything. But now we can special summon Licorice. Um, oh, we have to return it to hand. Well, good thing I have multiple things then. And we will then normal summon Candina. Candina can then add more good stuff to my hand. Um, we could go straight for the fusion um, using monsters from hand or field. I have one trick star monster in my hand, unfortunately. What about diffusion? So um, that can allow me to do it from the graveyard, which also unfortunately not enough. So a lot of things to set myself up, but I need to build the correct field. Let's grab myself a Lily Bell and see if I can make more happen. So, Lily Bell, special summon. There it goes. We are absolutely not playing that Chateau. I'd love to get the most out of my light stage as far as possible. Once per turn, target a set card in your zone, which or set spell or trap card. So, that's not going to do anything currently. I can go into many Trickstar things. Now, for those who are unaware of Trickstar, um, anytime you activate, um, each time a card's activated to your hand, you are going to uh, take a lot of damage, or anytime you activate a spell or trap card, you're going to take damage. So that's kind of what these guys are all about, but I want to be able to build something even scarier, because I don't know how to keep these monsters alive. Uh, we're going to go into Colchica, just to have another name involved here. So that's literally the only reason I'm going there. And now we can go into either Holly Angel, which is the old one, or Noble Angel, which I believe is the new card. Um, this lets me add a blue tears card. For, what's a blue tears card? Man, I didn't build this deck. What? Right. <laughs> I don't know. Blue um, tears. Yeah, blue tears card from my deck to my hand. Maybe it's something I did add. Maybe. Um, 
It may be, maybe it's the name of one of the new cards. Possibly. Um, but with this, if I uh, have a fusion summoned monster, I can summon more of my stuff from Graveyard and kind of just keep that going and going and going. So the new support's really leaning further into the Trickstar fusion angle. Um, regardless, I don't know if that's going to be immediately optimal. So we're going to start with Holly Angel by using that. And I think Candina is going to be a bit more valuable than Licorice to open up with here. So we'll go for that. <gasps> And I will set a card. You know, I'll set two cards. That's a mistake. Whoops. I was trying to set it as a bait and I messed up. <laughs> oh, well. That's how Yu-Gi-Oh is played. I was the one who was ignorant of the rules. Uh, yeah, let's go for battle now and just see if we can end up burning you before you take down our field. Um, let's see if we can get a little extra damage because every bit counts. Um, oh, Cold Cheek can do something from Graveyard. Oh, a little extra burn. <laughs> Great. So, equal right, to its well, attack. So, maybe I could have done that. This card is added to your opponent's hand. Inflict 200 for each. So, yeah. I got to be careful of that burn. Because mm -hmm. I've been on... I've mostly been on the person that burns the other opponents with the Trick Stars. I've not been on the receiving end of that. So, this is probably yeah. going to hurt. Exactly. All right. So, what are your plays going to be? You immediately have to do something. You know what? I think there's only one course of action here. Oh. No! What? Yeah, we're gonna do that. I had a silo, I had the perfect harpy. I had the perfect harpy ice barrier mix. Great. Uh, I'm gonna add Candina, just add another layer of burnout here and let's see if I can do it. Let's see if the burn is gonna carry through. <laughs> Arn, okay. Oh, if you do banish, I am, draw the same. Okay, mark. I can get another elegant egotist thanks to this. Burn. Oh my. Ow. Um, ooh, activate trigger effect. Um, uh, gain attack equal to the effect damage your opponent took. Okay, that's both the options. What is this guy actually able to do? Uh, monsters cannot. Oh, that's just... right. Is your monster gaining attack points for each time you burn me, actually? Yeah. Yeah, that's what's happening. I don't know why it made me activate that when that's the only effect, but sure. So these three together should make you suffer. Alright, I'll activate my Elegant Ecotist. Burn. Now, I don't have my uh, field card idiotically here, so you're not taking twice as much damage. But, we're stacking. Uh, normally the Harpy Lady would be the option, but I think I have something else in mind this time. Yeah, you gotta be crafty. We got a strong Holly Angel out here. No! <laughs> Absorb. That'll do it. <laughs> when was the last time you've seen Silent on an arc, Xylo? I still get tempted to pack it in a dex just as a, uh, just in case level four, you know? Um, yeah. Oh, you monster. <laughs> I got something at least, you know? <laughs> you survive it. Um, but you do have your fire blast. Ooh, is he in defense mode? Ah. Yes, he is. Okay, so we still have some Trickstar stuff going out for us. But I also have Medulce to play around with now, so let's consider some options. Um, the only Medulce monster I have in hand is a five, level 5, so we need to really sacrifice some stuff here. Um, but what can it do? If it's destroyed, shuffle it, and uh, I guess I can destroy some of your stuff. Yeah, it's still going to be worth doing, because how many more spell cards are you going to play? I mean, come on, it's a Harpy Lady deck. Um, yes, yeah, Silo, it's just a Harpy Lady deck. <laughs> it's a harpy lady um ice barrier deck how many spell cards could i expect my opponent to play <laughs> jeez <laughs> uh a lot is the short answer of that for anyone curious so yeah. maybe honestly i think having candina out might be more valuable than licorice in this one scenario so um i guess i'll just put cold chica back in the grave because i'm just going to tribute right here anyway so we'll do that doesn't matter. It just does something good for me, so I might as well. Um, I guess I might as well play Ticket first. And now we will Tribute Summon to get Pudding Sus out here. Now, um, after damage calculation, if I battle, I can target one card you can control and destroy it. Which is handy. Um, is it good enough? No. But it's handy. I just don't have a lot of power to me. Fortunately, I have life points. 
So maybe that'll help me significantly. I just need to be able to, uh, actually I need to take out your silent honor arc before he drains another monster in because you don't need material for that, do you? I do. Hmm? I do. It takes two materials. Oh yeah, detach and untarget. Okay. So I think I'll just leave him out there then. I'd much rather uh, find a way to destroy your fearsome fire blast. Um, or I could destroy your Hysteric Sign, which is kind of good. When it's activated, it does that. If it's sent to the graveyard this turn, add Harpy Lady cards. Nope. See a Fire Blast. Aww. Not destroying but, the Hysteric Sign. <laughs> but the Fire Blast does get another effect, which does allow me to send another Harpy Lady straight to the grave for later. That will be useful later. Unfortunately, I can't break your whole field here. Not much uh, to show, but we did what we could. Let's see what happens next. Ah, uh, that's funny if I had one. Mm. Revealer of the Ice Barrier, sure. Guarding the... I keep sending the Cyber Shield. I only had, like, added one because I needed to fill in the space a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I would have run Cyber Shield in a deck like this, but... But it's been good as a discard material so far. Yeah. You know, anything's good for that. Alright, let's see... I will bring so out my Hex of Spirit. Yep. This should put you in the running to just win the game here. Because once my cards are out of the way, nothing's in your way. Oh, that's right. I had to cut that one out to make space. Ooh. Don't have the right My level, level 7 Ice Barrier. No, I had a... In order, because of our rules, we had to keep equal amount wind and equal amount water. That's right. So, so I had to do like 7, yeah. 8. And I had to cut one of the Ice Barrier monsters to level 7 one. Yeah, that's what it comes down to. I will say my extra deck isn't as perfect as it could be either. Then again, neither of the sides of this deck is perfect as it could be. Either way, you have enough to uh, take on more. Ow. Oh, yeah. Damage. It's not enough, but... Um, ooh, this can now, since you did that... Uh, ooh, what would I like to destroy? I guess to protect my life points, I could destroy the Silent on Arc now, because I might be able to break the Revealer. Um, well, yeah, I already know you don't have anything to go into, so we'll just drop that and uh, return to hand instead. Yeah. And Madolce Ticket. Now we're in action. So this just adds a card to the hand. I think the uh, hand one I want is... Yeah, it's probably going to be... Oh, is it this? No, this wants to be special summoned. So what is the starting play? Is it Angeli? Tribute the special summon Madolce from deck. Yeah, it's probably the starting play. I think a uh, hoop cake can special summon itself. Um, target one monster in graveyard, banish it, special summon this. Yeah, that would work, but I need to get a little more than that moving. What about you? Shuffle this card when this is normal summoned. Add a Madolce monster from my deck to hand. We'll do that. Once again, sorry everyone. Only played Madolce during our Halloween event, and I think that was the only time. But here we are. Now, if I can get I a little bit more Trickstar Burn to the field, or if I can build a Madolce hand, which I might be able to set up Madolce with just these cards. Well, that's a fun uh, fairy card that's been in here as a good Earth Fairy support, but it's not exactly what we're looking for here. Um, although I do have a bunch of Earth Fairy monsters, so do I try this? Uh, no. We're going to just summon the uh, card I intended to. Magillion. Use that, adding to my hand. Is it a hoot cake type of moment? I think it's a hoot cake kind of moment. Um, or do I get, does the Chateau let me special summon anything? Um, man, there's so many things that return things from graveyard to hand, but I think hoot cake will allow me to do that. Once again, might be better options out here, but we'll do what we can. Okay, hoot cake cannot be played right now. Lovely. Wrong card, wrong situation. But I'm helps. low. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could have just stretched for damage to try to get it, eke it a little bit closer and then get a Trickstar monster on the field. But either way, we're not there yet. All right, Zach, what do you give me? Actually, is that General all? Wayne come out. General Wayne, when it pops out, I can add a card straight to the hand. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. I will add Medallion of the Ice Barrier. Okay. Activate Revealer by discarding the Elegant Egotist. Because I was hoping I was going to draw a Harpy Lady. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it would have been nice. And you can get those but, combos moving. Yeah. 
He activates, allowing me to special summon Hexa Spirit. Oh, baby. There goes my attack. And also activate, allowing me to add to my hand my speaker. I mean, you said it right. Who expected ice barriers to be carrying this entire four archetype duel? It's because I've been mostly drawing the ice barrier. I have equal amounts. Harpy Lady have and equal amount. Harpy Lady need each other to uh, perform while ice barriers search each other as it is. I think that's their biggest advantage. Obviously, Egotist yeah. does the searching by itself, but you still need it in the first place. Yep, that's a problem. It's a big problem. Now, that does... Oh, doesn't trigger my effects. That's a problem. <laughs> it was a fun duel. Man, if I had a, another copy of a Colchica, or if I used it better, that would have been nice. Um, yes, this I'm... is stupidly close. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have uh, what I need here. Um, but, well, actually, maybe I do. Maybe I can make this a draw. I'm going to do that search a Trickstar monster, right? So, what can we do to... Oh, I can burn you for 400. <laughs> I can make this even closer. Uh, ooh, if I... Tr Actually, yeah, Trickstar hoodie. So, let's grab the uh, newest Trickstar monster here. Trickstar hoodie. And summon it. So... Um, oh, no, I need to control the link monster in front. No, I don't have any more copies of Colchica. No, if I did, I'd be able to suck up your attack and then reflect the damage back at you. But no, I don't have any more copies because same reason it's a half and half deck. So, you know, we had two copies of it, but I didn't count my copies, let's be honest. So there it is. I could have also summoned a 1800 attack monster attacked into speaker, but I did not. I wanted to do this in a crafty way, which I did not fully understand yet. The duel is yours, Mario. Um, could right. I have attacked into speaker here? Yeah. Yeah, thought so. Nothing preventing you from tar not targeting it. Yep. So yeah, just using light stage could have searched my 1800, I believe. Uh, yep, Candina would have done it. But there you go. You took it. Ice barriers defeated this stuff. Now, I really with do like a, the new Trickstar with support. Some, with some support from the Harpy Ladies. Minimal support they, from the Harpy Ladies. Harpy Ladies were along for the ride, and they were happy enough to be discarded whenever necessary. <laughs> not that, but also, they also made the Silent Honor arc, which sealed the, which helped me win, actually. True, that did help you significantly. I think you got that out in the, well, yeah, you did need that at that point, so. I I brought up the Harpy Lady, did the Elegant Egotist, went into the uh, Harp, and then used them both to go into Silent Honor yeah. arc. So level four is for the win at that state. Um, but yeah, let us know if you want to see more uh, Trickstar or Medolce action from us. Because, you know, the decks, they do, I do like the new support. They do show that they're going to be considerably helpful. Um, they just probably should be isolated to their own deck and not thrown together in a wheel video that requires you to split two full deck archetypes into ten cards of each. So be expecting uh, Trickstar zone videos soon enough. <laughs> hey, if... if. Hey, if they don't want to see us do trick stars, we don't have to do trick stars. We don't have to burn each other for fun. But... I'm using trick star. All right. Make the deck. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then. See you, folks.